My Hero Academia was one of the shows that I used to recommend to my friends who were getting into anime or were new to anime because it was one of my top 5 animes of all time. Till season 3 or All Might vs All for One, this anime was pure hype and even though after the fight there were very, uh, there are many other good moments, I think it never went back and made the same peak academia it was. I'm not going to claim it fell off because it's a very big word, but it was missing something. Yes, there were interesting things like Deku getting a lot of new powers and stuff. Also, people on the internet hyped up Deku Vigilante arc as something that would really break the internet or something. And I believe Deku will become someone like Zenitsu from Demon Slayer in the final season. If you don't know who Zenitsu is, he's a character from Demon Slayer who was a scary cat the whole show and became an extreme badass in the final arc so I thought Deku will have the same thing but as much as people hyped it up Deku as people in the anime also mentioned was dirty as far as I I know and not taking a shower doesn't count as badass and he wasn't the supreme, the supreme badass I was hoping for if anything Deku looked extremely tired both physically and mentally not to mention he goes back to being a crybaby state after he came back to UA facility also, the second most important thing that hyped up 90% of MHA fandom was the ending of second episode where Midoriya said that this, this is the story of how I became the greatest hero. And everyone was hyped to see that. I think this was the first moment that gave me goosebumps in this show. But author decided midway through the series that he didn't like what he said in the second episode, which like this was the main hooking point for I think 90% of the people in the who watch MHA. This was the main hooking point. Yes, this was something that hyped them up first, goosebumps and everything, just like me. And Arthur just decided to throw it out the window and uh, this is a story of how we all became the greatest hero and then uh, I didn't become the greatest hero because I was forgotten in time which doesn't also make sense how was Deku forgotten Deku was a Shigaraki was broadcasted to the whole world the entire world cheered for Deku when he punched Shigaraki and like uh, imagine if the if in this world Deku stopped someone like Hitler and have a video record of uh, that so do you think people will forget Deku ever in history much less than just eight years this is the same joke about One Piece, right? The Oda will come out and say One Piece is just the friends you made along the way. I think Horikoshi decided that it was friends you made along the way, the promise that he made in the second episode, which, which I think is very common nowadays. Authors, every manga author think that if his ending is not sad, it wouldn't be good. There should be something sad about the ending or it wouldn't be really good. Like, I, w I would be happy with the ending where Midoriya was gifted a quirk from Shigaraki and he goes on to become a hero. It would be a simple ending, it would be a good ending, I think. But I think authors, every author, every manga author think that it it is compulsory to have sad things happen to your main hero and have him destroyed the end of the ending because that will make the ending better for some reason and that, that is not this just this one it, it's pr pretty much every author i think nowadays just want to do that but uh, let me know what you think and uh, what your thoughts on the ending and remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in a bit peace